What's up you guys? I'm so excited to be home and share all of our thoughts about the cruise. So we're kind of gonna kick things off with that. Andre and I are headed to drinks, probably dinner also with a friend of ours in the neighborhood. So our friends, our besties from the cruise, Lewis and Natalie is their name, they're gone home. I realized watching that video, which is airing tomorrow, by the way, in the time of filming this, that I never once really said their names. So by now the giveaway has been announced. The picture that I took on Instagram has not changed. I literally took it right here. And here's what I'm gonna do. There are two little postcards. So one of them, probably the one without Mickey and Minnie on it. Like I feel like this one's the nicer one. So I'll leave that one blank for the winner that they can fill it out on their Disney cruise and send it to whoever they want. But I am gonna write a little letter to that person. So a lot of you guys have posted below that post just saying like, your Disney cruise story or how like you so badly want to go on a cruise. So my goal is that you go on your Disney cruise and you take your picture with this beautiful backpack. And I also snagged a couple of these. So you'll see Andre and I's martini glasses that we got. You get some coasters with it. So I'm, I'm hooking you up. Um, the other thing that we have, and we have two of these, we have one from the wish and one from the fantasy. I'm going to put your backpack in this so that you can bring this on your cruise, the cooler bag, but it's a Disney cruise cooler bag. And that way your backpack will arrive in pristine condition. So I wanted to do a mini haul of the things that I got on the cruise summer downstairs. This is one of my most prized possessions. It actually, why don't we do this right now? So allegedly, so it floats. Oh, I haven't seen the lights yet. So it's a Bluetooth speaker. My phone is charging, but I mean, this is pretty cool. And it totally floats in the pool. It's incredible. It does not make the sound of the cruise ship. The way that I saw it on Instagram, the way that that was clearly done was through Bluetooth, which I mean, same, same. Epic. Isn't this so pretty? Just leave it on at night, love. And then the stand it's on is like a little Mickey stand. So I worked outside all day today. This is basically our routine when we're here. We get up, walk to get coffee. We work pretty much all day here unless we have like lunch or fun in the parks. And then towards the end of the day, when the sun is at its peak in the backyard. I usually go outside there, read, work a little bit more, answer DMs, comments, all those things. And then I come in here, I get ready, and then we head out into the Disney worlds. I was talking about this in the last video. I went back and got Donald Duimo and this little cruise. This is supposed to be a cell phone holder. I thought it was the cutest flipping thing ever. So I'm going to do, I'm thinking like a little cruise corner. Where does one put this? But he's going to be part of the cruise corner. I was thinking I could just do the cruise corner right in here. It's kind of tropical. So I was just getting ready. We're gonna go, like I said, out to drinks with our neighborhood friend, possibly friends. It always turns into a big party. So I just got ready. I have the rest of the stuff downstairs, but I did want you to know about the giveaway. Phone is charging. I'm gonna go grab that and let's go get Andre because we have many opinions to share about the wish versus the fantasy. So if that's something you wanna see, then just keep watching. You ready for martini hour? I'm ready. So Andre just made us martinis, but this is one thing that I got on the boat that I did not realize is actually not in the Disney World parks. Apparently it's in Disneyland. Anything Walt wins, and I've used this cup more than pretty much any of the other cups I've ever bought. The other thing I have to update you guys on that I'm bringing home to Canada, if you saw my summer decorate with me, which I never do this early, so I, I can't tell you how happy I am that I get to get home and that's done and I get to enjoy the summer decor of the house. And I, I think it's like my favorite that I've ever done, but it's gonna elevate with these. These are like little soda pop candles. So I got four minis. The yellow is what's good. I think maybe yellow and green is what's going to work the best with my decor. Blueberry. They smell pretty good. And then I got a big yellow one too, a big soda pop one. So apparently these were at Marshall's, nowhere to be found. They became available with the summer collection online. I don't have the original collection, but amazing. And then speaking of candles, because we, we miss our cruise, we have the castaway cruise candle going. And then this, like, Andre's like, what? Did you really need that? Which one? Mine's the one with the olive. Yours the one with the olive. So these can never be broken <clears throat> because they mean the world, but. Oh, wait, we got, we got our, uh, the bit, the beer mug. Show, well. show, you're so, I, I don't and you know what, time. Andre, that's a really, oh, you want lanky Andrew to get it? <laughs> this is a Disney t cruise tip moment that you can share. Yeah, for sure. See, these are pretty cool. You get, at the beginning of the cruise, you pay like $16, and instead of getting a, is it an 18 ounce beer, you get like a 22 ounce beer every time you give this little card up. Oh, and, I'm and, you get, and you get to keep your cup. And then yeah, at the end of the trip, you trade in your, this is my buddy's cup, and this is my cup, you trade in your card, and you get to keep the cup. So you basically pay 
sixteen dollars for yeah. a cup or I guess a, a beer I mug. I showed you in the in the last vlog, like in the cruise vlog, I show you using your card. So that's okay, what so that perfect. was. But so we have a deal. <laughs> Lewis will Andre will only use these when Lewis is in town, and I will only use those martini glasses when Nat's in town. Nat, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you broke that promise. There. But you know what? The real that wasn't a promise with her. The Thank real you. promise, which I'm keeping, is under here. And this I'm not breaking, she'll kill me. So this is what we invested in this. Like if you wanted like this to Andre's beer deal is the equivalent in Disney Springs. So if you go to Chef Art's Homecoming and you get these cute little cups, your secondary rounds, which I'll be honest, I can't do a second round while I'm in Disney Springs with one of these, but the Moonshine Margarita, one, one of these will get you feeling really good. Don't do two. <laughs> I don't even know how one could do two, but discounts, amazing. So I just put these in my backpack when we go and you get a refill and it's amazing. But the Moonshine Margarita is probably arguably one of the best margaritas in Disney Springs other than Haleos. Gotta just note that. Okay, speaking of cocktails, we're gonna break it all down. First of all, first of all, first of all, First of all, this is the cups that we got. I know I showed the other side, but this is the cuter side. And they were propped up behind the bar and they were so pretty. And I'm, to be honest, terrified to use them because I don't, they match my outfit. My, another one of my $20 outfits with the earrings that you got me, babe. I love these earrings. These martini glasses, I love them because the size is mwah. Okay, so cruise haul. I have my own. I used it yesterday with, I haven't bought a, sp I said this in the vlog, but oh, is the tag still on? Yeah. You but wore I, that. No, I didn't actually put it on. I just brought oh. it in case I needed it. But the restaurant <laughs> last night was so hot, I didn't need it. Uh, Rag oh, uh, we went I to Raglan know. last night, which was amazing. Super fun. By the way. Okay. That's the first time we've eaten there. Yeah, we like, go to the bar. Sat down and we'll say eat. that bar is like inordinately expensive. So I had a man, I had a $21 Manhattan there yesterday. It well, was not. by the way, welcome to cocktail hour with Andrew and Andre. Heck yeah. I was going to say we could sit and talk about Disney restaurants and drinks all day. Yes. Like all day. I will say I'm not as well versed with Disney cruises. Cause I think like you love Disney cruises more than I love Disney cruises. Like I, I, I love cruises and I love Disney cruises, but I feel like it's really, you're really smitten by them and I really enjoy them, but yeah. you are like, no, I feel like we're the same. You think so? Yeah, because okay. we, but I want to share like the good, the bad, and the ugly because I saw comments like of one girl in particular, I'm pretty sure her name's Lauren, and she was saying like her boyfriend loves Disney, like her and her boyfriend love mm -hmm. Disney, might have been husband, and he's like anti cruise. And I was like, well, maybe Andre could like enlighten because we weren't necessarily cruise people at all. And the only, we've done Royal Caribbean twice yeah. and we did NCL. Once. Norwegian, <laughs> like first NCL. When you said NCL, I had no idea what you Oh, Norwegian, Norwegian yeah. back yeah, yeah. Um, we to young. Bermuda. We were super young. young. Yeah. It was like a three-day cruise to Bermuda. And then we've now done two Disney cruises this mm -hmm. year. We did the Wish for New Year's Eve for three nights. Yeah. And then we did the Fantasy for seven days. nights. Seven days, I think. Seven days. Yeah. Do you want to just give like our general comparison? Because like, and I think we can rift off of each other on mm -hmm. this. Like we're not going to sure. keep it super long because it's going to be a Disney vlog, but I do want to, I just want to touch on it. So my glaring points is, I don't know if the wish goes for seven days. I don't think it does as okay. of right now. I mm -hmm. don't know. But the one that we went on, I feel like four days felt short, but I think that it was better than seven. Cause I feel like seven was like long. Yeah. It, I think five days is, is would be amazing. The point. If that, that if that, that exists, it. that would be amazing. Because on the wish, I felt like when we got off the wish after three, it was three nights, four days. I still felt like there were areas of the wish that we hadn't really explored. Never and even furthermore, saw. like the last bar that we went to, do you remember what it was called? It was the by Nightingale? the two signature rest. The Nightingale. Oh, the row, the Enchanted Rose upstairs, or like the Rose restaurant. Right, well, the one where we sat down. And we did our goals. Yes. Yeah. That was probably the nicest And bar we had only discovered it like the last the, night. On the last day. So. Can I, we touch on that quick too? Cause you made this point watching last vlog. Like we did that on this cruise. Like we sat and we did our goals. We worked out every single day. Like we did healthy yeah. stuff. But well, it I, seemed that the only thing that we captured was Well, I was, I was the one, one who was kind of perturbed because like on that vlog, it just looks like we ate and drank, ate and drank, ate Which and drank. we did. Which, I mean, I think everybody does that yeah. on a cruise, right? Like, like do but that. But at the end of the day, we but, balanced that off tremendously well with like goal setting. Like whenever we, you and I were drinking or whatever, yeah. having cocktails by yeah. ourselves, we were mapping out business goals. We were mapping out personal yeah. goals. We were talking about life. Nice. And obviously like we can't really share that in a vlog. And then also, like you said, uh, my favorite of all things that we did on the fantasy was in the afternoon we hit the gym then we went into the um, rainforest room. rainforest room hit the, the sauna mm -hmm. took the emotional shower which 
did make me emotional, but it was super fun. It, that's then, literally what they call it. And then napped on, or hot tub, then napped on, on the, those uh, tables. So really mm -hmm. cool goal that we set while we were on the boat is how cool would it be to like build a mini replica of the rainforest room in, not here, in Canada, like in our house. So you would do gym, like we get it, okay? This is, I said this to my subscribers today, like my monthly subscribers on Instagram, we were talking about goals and like the plan for the, for the home in Canada. And I was like, this is pie in the sky stuff. Like if you were with us 10 years ago, talking about this house. Yeah. So it's really cool to be like along. This was pie in the sky. Was this was too. pie in the sky 10 years ago. So I'm like, I'm going to document it times a thousand, but you're going to hear all these crazy ideas that happened in the beginning. So we talked about that, but I think that what I wanted to say was the comparison was we never hit the rainforest room on the wish, never even saw mm -hmm. it, never saw the spa. Oh. So getting to experience the rain for me, like the peaks were rainforest room every single day reading and it is the first time that we ever took seven days off the internet, no work whatsoever other than vlogging. I was going to say, it wasn't really no work whatsoever. Yeah, so we vlogged, but we didn't, like, we weren't at our computers. No day-to-day -day operations. Yeah, work. for, with that, and you said 10 years, and it's true. Yeah, it's been 10 we, plus years. 10 I mean, plus for years. me, it's been plus plus years because But for me, it's like that. having my, my coaching business on, it'd be 10 years yeah. this, this month. 100%. So the point of that was, the point of the cruise was to celebrate what we had accomplished in the first quarter of this year, which was like crazy beyond our wild dreams. So that was to celebrate with our besties. So all that to say, my highlights uh, that won on that cruise were the rainforest room for sure. The Cove Cafe, like adult experiences yes. of that. Cause the Cove Cafe is technically adult only area. And like the, I know it's so random, but the mocha experience drink was like so awesome. It's probably the best thing that I had on the cruise. Um, definitely Remy's dinner was mind blowing. I said, Andre, I think I like it more than Victoria and Albert's. Like I get that that's crazy to say, but I really, really liked it. It is crazy to say, but I, I love, I Oh my agree, gosh. The caviar. I was, was like, I'm good. dead. Yeah, was and cause it was good. so French and also Ratatouille is like one of my favorite movies. Yeah, sure. And then the h biggest highlight on the fantasy that smokes the wish is the adult only areas. Yes. Like I agree with that. smokes it zero competition. Although the wish has really cool bars, like the Bayou bar and the star Wars bar and stuff. And like Audrey said, the Rose, they're all over the place. So you yeah. don't really have like your own quarters. I just thought it was so cool that there was like, just like nooks and crannies and like hallways you can go down. It's all oh. adult only just like, it was like a sea of bars. It was so cool. So here's, here's what I'll say. Like you look at the comparison and let's just look at bars as a whole, right? Like on the wish there mm -hmm. was the star Wars bar and the Bayou bar. And those were kind of the two main ones. Then there was peripheral bars, like kind of outside mm -hmm. of that space. Yeah. But that space was such, it was such a choke point. It was always so busy. Yeah. It was never very peaceful. It's the peaceful. middle of the ship. Exactly. It was never really peaceful. On the it wish. Was always, about. Yes. It was on the wish. There's always like, kids running around and, and people sort of like, it was a, a, a through point. So the Bayou was a beautiful bar, but it was not a fun bar. Mm -mm. And, and if you look it's at not a quiet bar either, not at all. And if you look at the comparison, you see, um, the star Wars bar, compare that to skyline or compare yeah. that to, yeah. you know, one of the, oh, very, la la or something very like that, similar right? to skyline. And like there's the screens on the TV. It changes every now and again. I think Ooh la la was, I, we didn't say this on the cruise. I didn't think about it. Ooh la la was a vibe. So I think if you look at Ooh La La plus Skyline plus O'Gills versus, yeah, like the whole Piazza area versus the Bayou and um, the Star Wars area, the Piazza area slash the bar smokes the it was Bayou really area cool. in that. Yeah, for sure. So, and then just where it's so random, but oh, and there's the tube, huge nightclub. True. Like there's no nightclub on The Wish as far as we see. There's uh, like a silent yeah, yeah, the, I don't disco know how bar to, I didn't thing, know how I felt which about was that. Um, so yeah, just the adult only area, that was a huge high point, but that's for our clientele like that's for our mm -hmm. like we said on the other vlog like gen what are we millennials, millennials yeah. so the, the that rainforest room in the adult only areas castaway key was amazing mm -hmm. i really made it a point to do like the activities on the island this time yeah. um going snorkeling and all that was awesome and one so random but the aqueduct oh, smokes the same thing <laughs> aqueduct <laughs> smokes aquamouse yeah. aquamouse is like boring what it's like yeah, oh it's done and then yeah. aqueduct is like donald my zoom, man zoom, yeah. okay but i didn't see donald once on that cruise we saw daisy we saw daisy but and i saw donald. daisy in the parks afterwards too. but we, we missed donald on castaway key i think so some of he them was there earlier i didn't catch like it because i'm not really gonna whip out my phone every time i see a character although i did try but some of them did have their 25th anniversary at sea outfits that was really cool mm -hmm. um i caught pluto like on a whim just as we were going to our martini tasting. oh yeah yeah, yeah. took a selfie with Since him he selfies. wasn't busy at all um but i don't know like what's the highlight of your of the cruise for you it's like a, like i don't know i was upset and th this is another point by the way just just talking about the um 
the vlog and how like it portrayed uh, portrayed like drinking and eating and so on. I know, but if you want to do that on a cruise, do it. <laughs> well, yeah, absolutely, a hundred percent. Like I'm but gonna, I'm not gonna apologize. Usually, like we we sort of like keep it low key until we went to the gym and did like that sort yeah. of right. Like we didn't really do anything prior to that. So, yeah. um, for me, like that routine. It, it, the reason it's it's sticking with me is because so it's something it? that I legit yeah it's something that I legit want to take to my day to day life like it was insanely peaceful and I felt like insanely good after the fact like and I felt like I could stay up till three o'clock in the morning yeah. every single day because of that little routine. So we saw you dancing. Did you? I don't dance. It was cute. Days at sea for me like I hate to say it, it, it they're the best. Yeah. Days no, honestly, we're not. We, we were not those people that ventured off onto the island and we didn't we didn't want to like pack more and we were there to just literally unplug zen so it was such a good vacation but where would you say the wish shined um lunch yeah like lunch spots on quick, the wish like quick quick service up he loves spots barbecue he loves but barbecue. but not only that like the fantasy was like three little spots and it was like I get a salad, a hamburger hot dog, yeah. or chicken fingers, yeah. or a sandwich. And then whereas whereas the other one was like barbecue A taco. huge area. Yeah, it was yeah. great. So the Wish from, from, I think that's the only place where the Wish really thrived versus Fantasy was lunch options. Yeah, that's fair. Is that fair? I think that's the only spot where I could say the Wish was distinctively better than the Fantasy. I mean, I'm sure there's other that were not, like a newer ship. But you know, yeah. the I will say the layout of the fantasy smokes the wish. So on the wish, one thing to consider is there's only elevators midship. Yeah. There's no elevators at the aft or the forward. Yeah. So, so you only have elevators it, And mid-ship. it's not, um, intuitive. Intuitive. No. Yeah. We finish mm-hmm. each other's sandwiches. Sandwiches. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> okay. What else did we want to say? So tomorrow mm-hmm. we're going to, so we're going to take you with us drinking tonight. Um, and eat, we need to eat. So we're going to eat. Um, here we go again on the loop of like eating and drinking. Then tomorrow we have breakfast. Yeah, we have Kona Cafe tomorrow morning. Yep. And then we have Woody's Roundup at two. We at we got Woody's Roundup, and Slinky Dog. Hmm. Andre's gonna have barbecue and then go on Slinky Dog. I will say, ever since I've done Tron, yeah. Slinky Dog is much more palatable. Palatable. You're know. such a baby. I know. Okay, are we gonna go pick up Hunter? Let's go do that. He's literally across the street waiting for us. Hunter, we're on our way. We're on our way. Can I show them my treehouse Lego? Yeah, it's a little messy back there though, but yeah, sure. Babe, it's real life. <laughs> Hashtag realness. <clears throat> you want to show this. them yours too? I mean, it's right there. You Andre's well, is right? really cool. Mine's way cooler. Uh, so I'm almost done. I'm just putting the leaves on the treehouse, but this is hands down one of the coolest Legos I have ever done. So there's like the staircase. All of these open. I think that's like the office or the bunk beds. Office in a tree, in a tree house? <laughs> call, from a tree house? From a tree house? Come on. What movie is that from? Then yours, Andre's building a Bronco. Not a Bronco, it's a Defender. It's a Defender, sorry. I've got Bronco on the brain. Cool. It's literally the same color as our Bronco. That's why I thought you got it. It's a little greener, it's pistachio. Guys are so weird. Where are we going? Andre's gonna surprise us. I feel like it's gonna be one of those, we're gonna go where the wind takes us and we're gonna end up in all these different places. Hunter has treasures for me. I'll show you guys. Hunter got me something like really exciting. Okay, we'll, we'll see you guys at, uh, at drinks. Bright and early, let's play a round of what's in my Disney bag. This is probably my most used Disney dress ever. So it was a good purchase. Audrey's looking at me. We're going to breakfast. So here's what I'm gonna toss in here. Usually I bring a sweater, but I think I'll be okay. I showed you guys this on the cruise. Hand sanitizer smells like vanilla. Banana lip mask, lipstick, makeup by Mario, love it. Matching hair clip, mints. And then I have this stuff called Peppermint Halo in case you get a headache, it works like a charm. And then I have my trusty Disney genie that, um, yeah, it, it, it'll either do like, you can ride this ride at 8.40 a.m. or what, it, what was I trying to get slinky? 5.45 p.m. We're gonna have to pick one, which I have a feeling. I know which one we're gonna pick. Midway mania. 
I can't. Okay, Kona Cafe. I'm probably gonna have a mimos. Um, yesterday was super fun. We ended up at Scat Cat, which is one of Andre's favorite spots. I am gonna bring the sweater. I'm gonna bring the spirit jersey just in case. So we ended up at Scat Cat, which had live music. They do live music, I think, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? So yeah, it's, the band is really, really good. It's like a little hole in the wall. Like you would never know that it's there. It's in the port, is it Port Orleans? Yes, yeah, quarters. French quarters where, and they have beignets that you can inject with like Kahlua, Bailey's. It's super fun. So Hunter or and I, by or just have them by themselves. So Hunter and I got the ones with, uh, we got Kahlua and Andre just got the plain Mickey shaped beignet and he was very excited. So. Let's keep the sugar train going because I'm going to get some French toast at Kona Cafe and then we might do some shopping. I would love to come back here, probably, right? We're going to come back here in between. Yeah, here in Hollywood Absolutely. Um, it is Memorial Day weekend, so it is busy in the parks, but we might get it. I was going to call it a fast pass. We're going to get a Disney Genie and try and get Mr. on Midway Mania. Okay, breakfast time. simulator was. level for the barbecue. Are you excited? Oh. Time to go. By the way, Disney Springs, what's it called? Ron John Surf Shop, Mr. Zog's Sex Wax. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. the, the original coconut, I bought candles of that for Canada because it just smells so good.
Okay, Toy Story was broken earlier. Now are you ready? Now I'm ready. Post barbecue, <laughs> now are you ready? Now I need a nap. <laughs> Absolutely. We just took pictures together. Look how cute she is. Lounge fly lover. <laughs> <laughs> You feeling you feeling proud of yourself after your it's a lot of sunshine. Oh yeah, my after your late. barbecue? No, after your I feel like that's why you need a nap. That was a lot of food. Man. It's so much food. We were saying like they must waste so much food, especially the salads. Like nobody eats them. And it's not like they give it to you to go because it's all you can eat. So you, they won't, by the way, confirmed, they won't give it to you to go. The table next yeah. to us asked for the to-go cups for even the Coca-Cola and they said no. Thoughts here, let's, pr let's prop ourselves up because I want to do a proper review of the BBQ. Can I share like my negative thoughts first? Go. I only have one. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, like the waste is crazy. But the salads, like the, the lettuce salad was like, mm. one of So, okay, so one of the salads is not salads, it's, Watermelon. watermelon with mint on top of it. That's not a salad. But it's I just a little like, bit of fruit, but it's, it's refreshing. Like I it's so it. hot outside. Then it's you walk so, in. Look at you with your positivity. Yeah, but you the, walk in and then you have watermelon and the, it's good. It was sweet watermelon. It was good. Okay. The tomato and cucumber salad was Very good. good. I just the other one like, had no taste. I just feel like it's super wasteful. That's yeah. all I was going to say. People yeah. just want the meat. The meat. Yeah. And the sides. And the, the and sides. The so you pick four sides. We got tater tots. You know what we didn't touch at all? We got we got deep fried dill pickles that we didn't even have a single one. Uh, uh, yes. You did? I had two. Did you seriously? I didn't even touch one. I was like, I can't I get to it. I love pickles. Mac and cheese, Fun fact, tater tots. My first pet was named Pickles because I love pickles so yeah. much. <laughs> Mac and cheese, tater tots, deep fried pickles, and baked beans. Big beans! Big, Big beans. beans! Big beans are the best one in um, my mind. He was mac and cheese like the most, right? watching us must think that we're crazy. You, you gotta like search these inside jokes because they're around. They're around the you internet look like somewhere. You're a giraffe. You're a big, 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 big. Um, we also met a subscriber. Always say hi. Every time people say hi, they're like, I didn't want to bother you. Like, you're not bothering us. We're literally like dancing around the entrance of Hollywood Studios. I was taking my thumbnail picture, and Rebecca from the UK was like running up to us, and I was like, Why are you so pretty? She was yeah. so cute. So I asked her if she wanted to be in the vlog. So she's a part of it. So shout out to Rebecca. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we had a beautiful day. So Midway Mania was closed during our. Uh, do we still call it a fast pass? I'm just going to be old school and call Lightning it fast Lane. Lightning Lane. And we ended up going back after lunch and it was back open. Thank goodness because Andre would have had a meltdown. I got best in are, cart. Yeah, we know. You are, they saw it. You are overly competitive on that ride. Like he got 280 and was disappointed in his performance. Because I thought I was getting over 300. You take it very seriously. I thought I was getting over we 300. Need to, we need to actually Google the unlocks. I feel like we know them all. Okay, so the plan is we're going to walk to the Four Seasons because there's a little shop at the Four Seasons where Bambi is. We can go visit Bambi. Bambi's happening, by the way. If you've been invested in the Bambi journey, we saw a Bambi in the window at the Four Seasons and I really wanted him and then I googled how much he was and I was like, no. But we may have sourced one for a less expensive price and I'm going to do a very light, like not full theme, but a light Bambi theme in the guest bedroom. Mm -hmm. So we have Thumper, we have Flower up there. Did I even show that? I think in the in the Disney Festival. I think you did like a hall. Yeah, I think you did a hall and you showed it, but I don't think you showed it in its setting. Like which, where? by the way, Flower's a little awkward. Why? Because she's like, like the, the like toilet's the here and she's right there and she's like... <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a little awkward. She's a nebulizer. I know, but she's a little awkward. I think Flower's a boy. He's Is a Flower awkward. a boy or a girl? Very cute. Yeah, okay, bring so your camera up and show, and you'll see. It's it's just staring. You're it's, thinking too much into it. Maybe, but I, I made eye contact, and it wasn't fun. Win of the day. Win of the day. Precious oh. of the day. Mm -hmm. Like, can I just say though, the prices of ears and popcorn bucket, buckets is out of control. Well, that was twenty five bucks. I feel like that's that's on par with what I'd expect from Disney. But it's super cute. It's so cute. So when I saw this online, I was like. It's for sure for Tokyo Disney. It's not like n cool things like this never come here. And alas, here we are. And there's like little there's like little ants on it. It's so flipping cute. So you like you hang on to it from here. Or there's the strap, obviously. But it's a vibe. Like, would you say a, a solid dozen people asked us where we got it? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a it was a, a head turner for sure. So anyway, so back to the shop at the Four Seasons. So I saw on Instagram there's apparently this like really cool, very not um, price friendly. Just fair warning, brand. I wouldn't expect it to be price friendly at, at the, the Four, Four Seasons, seasons yeah. but it's such a vibe. Like there's Gus Gus slippers. What is it? Was it a pop up shop or something? It's a pop up shop of a brand. Um, I will show it. I have no idea what it's called, but okay. it, it looked really just... pretty, and they have like shoes and purses and stuff. And I just like if we were going on the cruise, I would be super invested. Well, what's the plan for tonight? We're gonna. I still want to enjoy the pool a little bit. Andre's gonna wash the car. I wash the car. I, the house has got to get ready to be like potentially shut down for a couple months. I'm <laughs> sad. So I'm gonna do that while you hang out by the pool. Don't. I already packed. I already did. I already did some stuff. You're gonna have a nap also. I can have a hero biscuit. You hero biscuit. One time. You're a hero. Thank you. And then everybody already thinks you're a hero. Thank and you. And then it's we're thinking thing. maybe a golf cart ride later. Mm-hmm. And maybe Springs, mm-hmm. maybe Four Seasons Lobby Bar for dinner. Or meeting with some friends for one drink. Meeting with some friends. We're going to a friend's house for a drink. Another another group of friends that way down the, down the street. Um, we might pop over to Hunter's. Oh, I said I said yesterday that Hunter got me something and he dropped it off at the front door. Oh my gosh. So many of you, so many of you sent me this on Instagram. You're like, did you get it? Because we weren't here. My neighbor Hunter got it. And I was. It's, I'm like, this is this is a big deal, just so you know. Like these are sold out and they told him that it's like gone forever. So it's... Is that for the tree house? For the tree house. For the tree house. Okay, wait. It's from Trader Sam's. It's the Haunted Mansion Gargoyle. Isn't it beautiful? Pretty sweet looking. And these are like metal. They're, oh, they they're tiki torches. torches. Is and there then, actual? Oh. Wait, how does this... I thought you this... can actually light them. That's it. Okay, yeah. And then you... Oh my god. I really hope that I can turn that back off I now. hope you can. This. This is a vibe. Like especially in the tree house. That's so freaking cool. So this was at Trader Sam's, like limited edition. Mm. Amazing. Amazing. I love a good tchotchke. So, okay, cool. I'm gonna bring this upstairs. We're going to the Four we're Seasons. We're gonna go to the Four Seasons and we're gonna walk there, right? Do you want, go- do you want a cart? <sighs> yeah, I think we're gonna cart. <laughs> we're gonna cart, okay. I'll take you guys with us. with a butterfly. The butterfly is free. Free. Free with your purpose. Free. Yes. By the way, success. That was so fun. Okay, well we're home and that was really fast and way more exhilarating than I thought it was gonna be. And I just bought shoes too. So that was not supposed to happen. That's not a regular day. But these, so I had seen this brand online and I actually saw these little slippers, the Gus Gus slippers. They're like little house slippers. The brand, I don't know how to say it, Butrich, Butrich? It's a, it's from Peru. I met the designer, she was there. I just heard about this brand and that they were doing a pop-up and I'm obsessed with it. And I, I was so overwhelmed by everything that they had. They were so, and they had like special cookies and everything, it was so cute. And this is what I got. And I'm thinking like birthday dinner vibes with the shoes that I just ordered. So I got the, the blue pumps that I tried on in the store, they were just like a smidge too tight, especially for in Florida, like when it's hot, it's like obviously everything swells. So I felt like I felt like the stepsister trying on the shoe. <laughs> and then she gave me this to go with my, I got to choose which one I wanted. There was all different princesses. The Cinderella one, I've seen it before. I actually think the Snow White one is probably the cutest, which I thought was very sweet. So I ordered the shoes. They are these ones, the ones right over the Gus Gus ones. Not that you can really see it. I'll, I'll pull up a picture. There's Snow White, there is Beauty and the Beast. These are all like little sticker sheets of the products. Look how cute the Jasmine ones are. Andre really liked the, the Jasmine mules. The Ariel ones, the Ariel flats with the shells on them, I can't. Like that, I'm just gonna say that was way more exciting than I thought it was gonna be. That was so fun. So Andre's napping. Andre's napping right now. I'm thinking of, well, I'm not working today. We're gonna work all day tomorrow while we're flying. We're, this is not a work day. This is a enjoy every last ounce of Florida kind of day. Definitely going to do my daily ritual of, I might do two of these. I love these things. So I went on my Instagram. 
Actually, I might do a little bit of work. I can't do it go a day without doing something. I think I'm going to, I've already mapped out half of it. I'm gonna map out the, I'm doing a full 21 days live on my Instagram. I'm doing a live daily grind. I haven't done that in a couple of years. I used to do that every single day. I did it every single day for years for my team. And I thought, why not do it again for my Instagram subscribers? So I have monthly subscribers on Instagram, so I'll be going live with them. Um, and the reason I do it for them and not for just randomly going live is because one, I can go deeper with a specific group of people. It just allows me to like help those people and help my following that much more. So I'm mapping out every single day, but what's cool is very much unlike the very lengthy seminar that I just did, which the recording still exists. So if you are a subscriber on my Instagram, it's still there and it was awesome. It was like five days, dream life blueprint, hours of footage. Like we are workshopping together, like revamping your entire life. So the recording of that is up. But I thought instead of doing like long videos, why not do 21 days, like five minutes daily live at all different times so that all different time zones can catch me and ask me their questions. But we're going to go over habits, like re redoing your rituals, habits, routines, and just revamping your entire life and just tracking that. So you don't need a daily grind planner either, either to do it. People are asking me that you, you can literally use a piece of paper and just your own will. It'll be great accountability too, because you're going to be accountable to me and I'm going to hold you to it. There's gonna be a lot of tough love. So if that's your, if that's your jam, I've got you. But right now I am going to detox with some turmeric and reishi and probiotics and continue reading my book, which is insanely good. So good. And the sun right now is just the weather we were saying is like perfection. Absolute glorious, glorious. I'm going to put on my bathing suit and go out there and probably do a little bit of work on the daily grind daily videos and just m quickly map that out and have a game plan for it. And then I think I'm gonna read a little bit and get ready for our golf cart ride later. So we have cleaned the car, cleaned the cart, cleaned outside, put away all of our patio furniture, like cushions and everything. We do that when we leave. Brought in all the pillows, like the pillows from the porch and stuff. Um, any of the succul succulents and things that like get finished by the, by the sun. Just like the, you know, that last final to-do list before you have to go home. So that's what we just did. And I'm <laughs> gonna check out what Andre talked about. I think I got some sun today. This is a very intimate channel. I mean, yeah. She is Flower a dude? I think Flower is a boy. He's a little bit judgmental, but he's fabulous. And I got it working. This is probably one of the most heart-to-heart -heart moments we've ever had on this channel. I think it's adorable. Okay, let's get it working. I mean, how flippin' I can't with how cute. I just need to figure out a way to hide the wire. And there's no plug on the other side. But it needs to go in the bathroom, right? Or maybe it doesn't. Do we put it on a bedside? No, maybe, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like it here? It's like a little Bambi moment. And then I'm, I'm gonna find a Bambi soap and then look at what I did in here. I'm also gonna do, I saw this on the cruise and I thought it was a really cool idea. They have backgrounds of movies. So I was gonna do three Bambi backgrounds or like forest backgrounds instead of these shells. And now Andre's like, we should change this to make it more woodsy. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then Bambi's gonna go right here. But look, how perfect. Isn't that adorable? A little thumper. Martini time. Okay, we're testing this out. Oh yeah, that's so cool. Amazing. That's so cool. So I am packing. I just woke up. We have an earlier flight today. During the summer, I guess there's less demand for Canadians to fly to Florida, so we don't have direct flights. So we have to connect. So today we're connecting in New York, which is a good connection, totally fine. It was fine coming here. It just makes for a longer day. So we have to get up earlier. Usually our flight will leave at like noon, 1230 and we'll be home by like four. Today is a little wee bit longer and I'm just making sure that I have everything. Passports, check. This backpack, by the way, total Amazon find. I got one for Andre in black and he's in love with it. So the last pad like this had the entire blueprint layout on it and it was like mangled. This has the 21 days of the daily grind on it, which I'm gonna work on on the plane. I decided to bring home a spirit jersey. This is an oldie, but a goodie, right? I was like, why don't I bring, like I need some Disney at home in Canada. I have markers and pens and, and 
let me answer a question that I get a lot. A lot of you guys were asking how I, I was like, where is it? Oh, my iPad's still charging because I made a mistake. I literally was like, good job, Angie. So yesterday in downloading my shows, I decided to download Selling Sunset. I left the iPad open, not charging, and it drained the battery right before we got on the flight. So I was like, awesome, hopefully it charges. But a lot of you were asking how I do the covers and you're like, how do you get that watercolor effect? There's an app on the iPad Pro. I don't think it's on the regular iPad and you need an Apple pencil and you can actually draw, like you can watercolor. So what I do is I get the actual base image and I shared this in like the Halloween video and a lot of you that are like aspiring artists or like a lot of you are just curious of the process. Um, that's how I do it. Like I actually pen to paper draw and that's also how we draw many of our stickers. So I have helped with the stickers, the covers, I have done almost all of them. We did have, there was like a team effort on the, I think it was just Christmas that we had a team effort and then the rest of them, I've done them and they're amazing. But like our team is ever expanding and we are getting better and better at the stickers and you're not even ready for the, the Halloween stickers, they're so good. But those are hand drawn in the same app. So it's called Procreate and you can sketch and there's literally like a watercolor brush. There's, there's like hundreds of brushes. So that's how you do it and you use the Apple Pencil. I just, I can't believe how many questions I got about that and I was like, it's actually a really cool thing. It's very therapeutic. Backup headphones, earbuds, best headphones ever. I love these. They're over ear, they're cute. Um, they're by Sony. Sunglasses, hand sanitizer, peppermint halo for headaches. I always carry this just in case if I have like a coughing fit. It was prescribed to me like so long ago, but sometimes it helps. Altoids, nail glue, which I won't need. I always carry these little extra clips with me. Don't ask me why I'm sharing this all with you, but it seems to be a popular thing to know what's in my bag. It's like the most real thing, but this bag is awesome. Like I freaking love this bag. Yesterday was amazing. We had a full Disney day as we, as we do. Usually on our last day, we try and make the best of it. Andre actually was like, last night, he's like, did we go to Kona Cafe this morning or yesterday? I was like, that was this morning. So we fit in so much yesterday. We did a little golf cart ride. There was actually some stuff that we did share because we just wanted to have like a nice sit down dinner with our friends. And it was at what's called the summer house in the neighborhood and also for like privacy. So whenever you first saw us golf carting and it was like still daylight, we were headed to meet up with our friends. Super fun. We just kind of like hung out outside and it's like, it was the perfect temperature to just sit outside and enjoy. And we talked about things, made some plans, some exciting plans. And then we went to the Four Seasons later on. So that was lovely. And then came back here, went across the street to our other neighbor and then finished Lego, which I have to show you. I, I was determined, I'm like, I'm finishing this treehouse before we go home. So I did that. It's probably gonna go in the treehouse. The treehouse Lego is gonna go in the treehouse, but I don't know if it's gonna fit on the shelf. It's huge. It's way bigger than I thought, but I wanna show you. It was an overall very good day with plentiful of shopping. Speaking of, I have treasures behind me that need to be shipped out. Um, it will probably be shipped out while we're gone. We have somebody that manages the house, so he, we love Tony, Tony will ship it out for us. Um, so the winner of this will be announced on my Instagram. And I wore mine yesterday and I cannot even tell you how many compliments I got on it. And then this is for my friend, Sam. I got it off the cruise. There was like one left. She's like, if you could, <laughs> can you find the Pixar wall? I'm like on it. Amazing day yesterday. Thank you for being a part of it. Let me show you the tree house. And I think that's everything. I want to close up the house. Andre is a hero and like got up early this morning and did all of the things. It's always like, whenever you close up a house, you just want to make sure that like, it's just, it's a weird feeling. You got to make sure that all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. I also used this last night. So cool, so cool. Okay, is this all, you're gonna close down the house with me. I'm trying to charge this little thing as fast as I can to maybe charge my iPad, but I just hope that there's a plug in the plane. I never show this, but when Andre's office doors are closed, little cool feature. That was like on the original design sketch of the house. Oh, hi. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, you were- Five years a little earlier than we thought. What? 11.15. The flight's flight. earlier? Yeah. Oh, no stress. Great, yeah. okay, so, so we got it. Click button on temper and pick up if that's okay. Okay, I'll pop, I'll pop these in and I will show, I'm gonna show my treehouse Lego. Is it still downstairs? Yeah. I'm all packed. Say bye to Mickey. So this is what I do. I always bring in, yesterday I did this, brought in all the pillows from outside so they don't get ruined. Look how good the tree, bye Mickey. I literally do this every time and I, I'm, I stopped crying now, but I used to cry every time we would leave. I know it's stupid, but bye Mickey. I love this house so much. The goal is to find a house that we love this much in Canada because it just sucks leaving here. Okay, now I'm not gonna get all emotional. Tree house is done. How sick. The cool thing is, I'm not gonna do this because this would take forever, but it comes with different colored leaves so you can change it in the fall. Kind of a vibe, but we're not doing that. This is one of the coolest 
Legos ever. And it was a gift from um, our friend Brittany. She works at the Daily Grind. And she's like, I was called <laughs> coordinator of chaos. She's like in charge of everything. And she gifted us this for Christmas. And it was probably my favorite one to build ever. And next, we're building Stranger Things. So I'm going to leave this here for now. And next time we're here, I'm going to put it up in the treehouse and figure that out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this very Disney vlog. I know you guys are loving the longer vlogs. So just as much as you guys love watching them, I love creating them because I feel like they're so real, so authentic. And it's, it's just my, like, you are literally coming with me. I just grab the camera and bring you with me. And I had mentioned this in a prior video. I hope that the footage is okay and the audio is as clear as when I do it at home because the other camera that I have is like way bigger, way heavier and just less I feel authentic to like carry around with me. So this one's a little compact. I love it. And... I just hope that it's as good. So you guys let me know. I mean, if it means longer videos and it's just as good, then I'm here for it. And I will continue to vlog in Canada. I have projects that I want to work on there. And I'm also going to take you through all of the big dreams and goals there. So there's lots to look forward to. I definitely want to do a huge deep clean in Canada also. I just did one here, but we want to do like a big one in Canada. So I guess I will see you guys at that house very soon. Thank you for being a part of this. If you enjoyed this, make sure that you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up. Follow along on Instagram. Go check out that giveaway. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, dudes.